everybody welcome on back to my channel and if you are new welcome on in I am Cinderella and this is blue for tour and we are in a brand new episode of the flower legacy now in this episode uh, I'm going to be introducing a very special character uh, if you guys remember last week if you did watch the last episode I requested some ladies because you know blue ain't but hound dog and he is so into the ladies and I needed more ladies on the campus of Brentchester. I just needed them to be around so that they can be for the taking. <laughs> so that Blue can either just bite them, enjoy their luscious blood, because you know Blue is a vampire, or date them and be potential baby mamas. Because according to the challenge, Blue has to have one baby and one baby only. So we only need one baby mama out of all the seat of women. So, um, yeah, and if you, you know, if you want to upload your, your ladies to the gallery, no CC, of course, just put the hashtag, um, hashtag um, Rala Sims for Blue or Sims for Blue, and um, I'll just upload them up and we can have them in the Flower Legacy. But the reason why this one is special is because this particular sim is already an active sim. And she is on another Simmers YouTube channel. And that fantastic content creator goes by the name of Miss Sasha Space. And I am talking about her sim, Amira, from the Occult baby challenge this is sasha's youtube channel and when you go to her youtube channel the number one thing you should do is subscribe because her channel is awesome it's full of entertaining videos uh and she gives you all the knowledge of the sims 4 she gives you cc links she has the best mod reviews and the number one thing that I love about her channel is all of her Let's Plays because she is an outstanding storyteller. She gives you all the details. She really puts in all the work. I mean, she gives these Sims life, baby. Let me tell you, she gives them life with all the personalities. And every Sim is connected to every other Sim. The stories, oh, and the active series that she has on her channel right now. I absolutely love all of them. Of course, the Occult Baby Challenge, along with the Bold Winds, Double the Trouble, which is a high school series, Family Secrets, and the best thing ever, the Black Widow Challenge, which is a remix with our good friend Punchinella Games. Make sure you guys also um, subscribe to Punchinella Games. Her, her channel is beyond awesome okay she is an awesome content creator so check her out as well but getting back to Sasha I mean you are going to be so entertained she is like one of the best out there and she is super friendly I mean I absolutely adore her and for her to let me little old me have a mirror of course, with no CC. But now, if you want to get the real deal, you go to Sasha's channel because she has the mods, she has the CC, and she just goes full all out. But Amira is going to be in the Flower Legacy. Hopefully, she will be potential for Blue. In a little bit, you're going to see the whole sequence of how Blue and Amira meets up. So don't go anywhere just yet. I'm getting to that, but I just wanted to um, say that Sasha Space's channel is freaking awesome. <laughs> it's freaking awesome, and if you have not subscribed, go hit that button, go over there, visit Sasha, say hi. She is so welcoming, and she is just an awesome simmer. So thank you so much, Sasha, for allowing me to have Amira and Grim and Cheryl. I hope I do you proud, girl. So, getting back to my boy, Blue. Yes, as you guys can see, he looks a little bit uncomfortable because he's tired. Today was his first day of his job. And even though he looks good in that tie and stuff, 
He had a pretty rough night last night. He partied real hard. So I am going to present to you guys the meeting of Blue and Amira. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death Look like big fun, come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we <laughs> Oh, that was crazy. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young, and so are we, baby. The night is young, so let's have some fun. If you love me right, yeah, this could be the summer of our lives now, honey. Give it to me like you know you should. Stay away from that one, her dad's trouble. Hi. Hey. Hey, can you give me a moment? You leaving so soon? Oh, yeah, I have to go. Ah, I just want to get to know you. A rose for you, beautiful. Oh, mm, thank you. Listen, before you go, take my number. Okay, well, here's mine too. Wait, what's your name? Amira. Amira. Welcome back, guys, to the gameplay. Look at Blue looking so cute in his new little outfit for work. Him and Gabby actually just arrived back home. And, yeah, like I said before, he is exhausted from last night. I hope you guys enjoyed the little meet-up scene between him and Amira. And hopefully today or a little bit along the sim week, he will meet up with Amira again. All right, so Blue is home. He is real thirsty. Um, Demi is kind of like apologizing to Blue right now, I guess. He's like, it's all forgiven. He's like, it's, it's fine, Demi. But he is so thirsty. <laughs> I need him to drink. Uh, does he have any plasma? He has three. Okay, we could try. We don't, we don't want to bite everybody all the time, especially Gabby. We can't be using Gabby like that. So let him drink. Why are you standing there looking at Blue drink the plasma? Do y'all want to get... They're like, well, how does plasma really taste, Blue? He's like, it's like drinking milk instead of drinking Hennessy. <laughs> Like you can't, you cannot compare the blood in plasma versus getting it from someone else. Oh, she's horrified. Look at Demi when he. Well, you asked Demi. You asked. Excuse me, Demi. She's like, well, you shouldn't take it from anybody. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, you know what, girl? Guess what's gonna happen to you? Cause you getting on my nerve. Yep, we are. Sorry, Demi. This is going to have to happen because you've been getting on Blue's nerve and my nerve. Sorry, girl. Blue's thirsty. <gasps> Mama's calling. 
No, not in the middle of drinking blood. We've been thinking about trying for a baby. Daisy, do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think, Daisy? I mean, Blue loves his brothers and his sister. You know what? Go for it. Hey, he's like, hey, go for it. Try for that baby. Yeah. The Vator family is growing. <laughs> Look at Zane. He's trying to go in the wall. <laughs> I wonder if Demi will be upset. Look at Blue. He's like, ah. <laughs> He's taking his time. He is taking his time. He is taking his sweet time. Look at Zane. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to pretend I don't see nothing. All right, he's done. She's like, what happened? Look at those bites. <laughs> oh, damn, Blue. You knocked her out. Oh, did Gabby see you? Gabby don't care. She's dancing. <laughs> Look at Demi. Now <laughs> Blue. He's working out. He's working out. <laughs> Gabby's like, oh, Blue thinks he's all that now that he has a job. But I'm going to tell him. I'm thinking about working at the same restaurant as he is. And uh, I'm going to be the best boss he ever had and Zang's like what makes you think he's go he's you're gonna be his boss he was there before you she's like how can you resist my personality come on now you know i'm getting a promotion oh gabby let me look at blue's thirst after all that his thirst is good okay Blue does have some power points, so let's give him some points. Okay, so vampire powers. What has opened up for Blue, okay? Um, he has two points, so he can now either do cast hallucination and garlic immunity, or he can just detect personality, which will kind of help him. You know, when he is at the club and trying to get to know some of the ladies. Because that way he don't have to, like, do too much smooth talking and getting to know everybody. So let's do that. I think we should do that one. Okay. Right? Should we? Eh? Or garlic immunity. Gain immunity to the negative effects of garlic objects. Ah, eh, we could get that another time. Let's do this one. Okay, so now he can detect personalities. All right, so now that that is all done, I think I'm going to have Blue actually call Amira up and ask her out on a date. Hi, Amira. It's me, Blue. Oh, hi, Blue. I was wondering if you wanted to get some dinner tomorrow night. Dinner? Oh, my. Um... That sounds really good. Yeah, I would love to. Okay, see you then. Bye. Now that that is all done, actually, Dad came over. Mr. Caleb came over. Ooh, it's really pouring raining. Um, Dad came over just to, uh, you know, hang out with Blue, see what's going on. Got to check on his boy every now and then. And that's good. Where you guys going? Don't stand in the rain. Um, And I'm going to have them come over here. Well, actually, I'm going to have them come and just sit at the bar because, you know, that's what they should do. All right, guys. So, Blue is talking to his dad. And he's saying, you know, hey, I, you know, I kind of just got off the phone actually with a girl and I asked her out on a date. And Caleb is like, hmm, a date? A real date? My son? He's like, yeah, dad, you know. He's like, oh, no, I know. I know you've been running around Brickchester going from girl to girl. I, you know, I hear everything. I know everyone. So Caleb's like, well, tell me about this girl. He's like, well, her name is Amira. And then Caleb was like, Amira Hardy? 
It's like, yeah, you know her? No, I don't know her, but I know her dad. Her father's the freaking Grim Reaper. Oh, but that's just his job, right? Caleb was like, I know everyone. I've known Grim for such a long time. You know, I've lived a long time. He's like, yeah, I don't think this is the one. <laughs> then, um... Blue was like, oh, come on, man. It's not that bad. You know, you can't judge her by her dad. It was like, you know what? Let me make a phone call. <laughs> he's like, no, I know I can't judge her by her dad. But he's like, yeah, because you wouldn't want people to judge me because of what you've done. All right. Dad's over the conversation, apparently. And Blue's like, ah. Eh. Actually, it makes Blue even want to go out more with uh, Amira just because it's kind of getting underneath his dad's skin. I mean, Blue is a mama's boy, first off. He loves his dad and all, helping clean up. Thank you, Caleb. Um, But yeah, you know, I don't know if he'll take his dad's advice, but I kind of agree with Blue, you know? I kind of agree with Blue on this one because it's like Blue and Amira basically come the same type of family like where Caleb is like this famous vampire around the Sims worlds and everybody knows him they know about Lilith and all the things that she's done but you know people shouldn't judge Blue based on his family ties and that's the same thing with Amira people shouldn't judge Amira because her father is the Grim Reaper I mean you can't blame the Grim Reaper I mean if you die, you die. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't blame the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper's just coming to help you, you know, pass on. <laughs> but anyway, I just think it's kind of cute because they both have very similar backgrounds. All right, so Dad, I mean, how long you plan on being here? Because uh, everybody's like basically going to go to sleep and it's kind of late and I got to go to work in the morning. And Caleb was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You do have a job, right? I mean, you're taking some time off this semester. He's like, yeah, because I want to get my culinary skills up. And he's like, yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go home. He's like, how's mom doing? Mom is great. What the hell happened to you? Did you fall there? What the hell was that? Anyway, he looked like he had fell for a second. All right, guys. So, since Blue is at work, I decided to come over and play Amira, Shovel, and the Grim Reaper, the Hardy family, um, just so we can get a little bit more information about them. And, yeah, play a little bit with them while uh, Blue is at work. So, okay, let's do the introductions of the Hardy family. Okay, well, first off, before we even begin, this cute little home I got off the gallery, of course, and this is by Eurekis, and the name is going to appear on the screen, and you can get it from the gallery. It's a typical Brenton Bay home. Yes, they live in Brenton Bay, right next to the vet clinic, and I love it full time in Brenton Bay. It's so fabulous. Okay. So, let's get to the introductions. Let me bring down these walls. There is Cheryl. She is in her PJs. So, let me see. Let's talk a little bit about Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl is actually a streamer, okay? That is the job that Sasha Space created for Cheryl, just her main character uh, for the Occult Baby Challenge. And basically, um, she's awesome. So, she's a little bit childish. She's romantic. She's domestic. You know, you gotta be domestic for all the babies. Uh, <laughs> Family-oriented and fertile as heck. And, yeah, she has a fair fire. Um, so, yeah, that's her. And she has a job, which is she is a casual streamer. She makes about $20 an hour. And, yeah, she does live streaming and she does all that stuff. And in this house, I didn't do anything but give Cheryl her own little working space area. And, of course, we have Grim Reaper himself. Grim. <laughs> and his name is Amir Reaper. Okay. 
Oh no, pet fairs. They have a little pet named um, Yara, Yara, Yara. And of course, Grim doesn't have a job because I don't have the mod. But we can pretend he is the Grim Reaper. But this is the life of the Grim Reaper and Cheryl. If they didn't, you know, like if Cheryl didn't like continue on in Sasha's um, let's play where Cheryl's the occult baby challenge and you have to have a baby from all the occult stuff, um, Patchy and a mermaid and all that stuff. So this is if Cheryl just stayed with Grim because Grim was her first quote unquote love. Okay. So this is the life they would have. <laughs> It ain't popping like it's popping over there on Sasha's channel because she's got the mods and the CC and stuff. But, yeah. I mean, it's a simple life, but I think Cheryl is quite happy. Um, and then, of course, we have our girl, Amira, who's in her PJs just relaxing before she goes on her date. And, of course, Amira doesn't have a job. Well, she does have a job, but she didn't have a job when... Um, I placed her, so I gave her a little side gig of um, interior decorating <laughs> because she really honestly does not want to follow in her father's footsteps. That is the whole thing with Amira. She doesn't want to follow in dad's footsteps. In this Let's Play, she wants to be her own girl and, um, yeah, and live a kind of simple life. But she does want to go to college, which is why she was over there. You know, in the Brinchester area, because she's thinking about going to college and taking up something. I have no idea what, but I don't think she even knows. But yeah, let's get um Amira ready for her date with Blue. And then Dad, you know, you have to take off. Can you please take off the Grim Reaper outfit, please? He's like, girl, this is who I am. Okay, so Amira, are you trying on outfits because you just keep looking the same to me? <laughs> okay. No, why is she in that outfit? Well, that's a beehive outfit. Where does that come from? Has a bun in her hair and she's got this cute little like 1950s dress and it's black, you know, because Amira loves black. So, all right, guys, just like I said, Blue just got home from work. He is ready. Um, and I'm just going to get him dressed in an outfit, really quick change. Um, let me see, what can he go on a date with? I mean, he could get all, like, fancy. <laughs> uh, like, very vampire-ish. I think I actually like that because, you know what? Blue is wearing black, just like Amira's wearing black. And, yeah, I think they're going to look really cute together. Ooh, I can't wait to take some pictures. Okay, I'm super excited. Okay, so he is going to wear that. But he also has to, like, purchase some items. I don't know, maybe on the computer. Because, you know, you can't go over to a young lady's house. Um, without, you know, giving the mom and dad a little something, something too. He wants to make a really good impression. And this is the advice from Dad's dad. Of course, dad just comes on in. Careful tour is become best friends. Of course, dad. Hello. Why do you have to ask me to be best friends? Oh, Blue and Zoe has fallen out of touch and are no longer best friends. Well, that's because dad is his best friend. Okay. <laughs> Before we got rudely interrupted by dad, who just, I don't know, what's up with dad? I got to check on the, uh, you know, my Caleb and Daisy because Caleb has been wanting to come over here and hang out with Blue a lot. Okay, so let's order before it gets too late. Let's order something. Um, purchase fireworks. Purchase gifts. Let's purchase some gifts. All right, guys. Blue is all ready for his date with Amira. We are going to travel to Brinterton Bay. Hey guys, Blue is in front of Amira's home, ready to go in and knock on that door. He is super nervous. I'm nervous <laughs> for him. Oh God, who's going to answer the door? He's just going to go in. 
Norman Blue will just walk right in. Yeah, he does. Okay, thank goodness Grim changed out of the Grim Reaper. So the first person he is going to have a friendly introduction with is Amir Dad. So come on, Blue, come upstairs. You know, he's like, hi, sir. Uh, so nice to meet you. And Amir's like, hey, guy, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, how's your dad doing? He's making small talk and talking about participating. And he's going to present him with a gift. And, you know, Grim is like, you better have my daughter back at a certain time. You know, I don't play the game. So he's like, you know, I could touch you with death. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't contain myself. Oh, they were joking around. Okay, so, yeah. So it's the comedy level. Okay, so they're getting up. He's giving him the gift, I guess. Gotta get up to give a gift. He's like, here, sir. I thought you would like this. It's a special copy. Let's see. I hope he likes it. Oh, he's laughing about it. Okay, so everything's good. Okay, so next is Miss Cheryl. Where's Miss Mom? Mama Cheryl. He's like, oh my God, I seen you on um Twitch streaming. Oh, it's so great to see you in person. Okay, so give her a gift, uh, Blue, if you can. Ask about interest. It, things don't come up like that. Because, uh, don't you dare fight with her. You can compliment her appearance, <laughs> I'm guessing. She's walking away. Oh, Mama Shovel is not playing, honey. She is like, she's a tough one to break. Mm. Mira is officially ready. and She looks so pretty. She is ready for this date. So she's gonna go downstairs and meet Blue. Okay, so come on Blue, let's give Amira the gift. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> He's like, you look so pretty tonight, Amira. She's like, oh, thank you. Oh, dad is right in between them too. This, oh, I don't, how dare someone take my damn table? Okay. <laughs> I wanted that damn table. Ugh. How dare they? Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> I wanted that table so bad. Okay, we'll take this one. All right, guys, Amira and Blue are sitting at the table, so I am going to order some food for them and really get this date started. They look so adorable together. Ah, I'm gonna die. No, not really, but you know, ah, oh God. Okay, they look so cute. Like, hey waiter, we are ready to order. All right, now we have to socialize. He's like, oh, it's so, he's like, Amira, you look fantastic. She's like, oh, thank you so much, Blue. He's like, I was really kind of nervous asking you. And she's like, why? He's like, I don't know. I mean, your dad's the Grim Reaper. Well, Amir was taking charge, as you can see. She's like, um, we'll both have the pasta primavera, please. And she's like, oh, I mean, you met my dad. You know, he is just like the biggest softy ever. He hates his job, but someone has to do it. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, they are super flirty. I got to have him flirt with her because he is super flirty. Uh, well, he's gonna ask if she's single, but I, I think he kind of knows. He's, in a row. he's like, Yo, you seen anyone? You know, guys, this is like the first date date that Blue has ever been on. Because, I mean, he went out and he met Zoe. He met Zoe, but um, they went to like Mickey D's. <laughs> oh, come on, that's not a real date. Um, so this is like his first official date. I think he really, really likes uh, Amira. Both of them. They both freaking flirty. <gasps> She's blushing. I actually seen her cheeks blush. Like get red. He's like, oh. He's like, do you want another glass of wine? She's like, no, I want to know more about you. I want to know... You know, you're into cooking and everything, right? Do you want your own restaurant one day? He's like, yeah. She's like, that's fantastic. He's like, okay, what about you, Amira? What do you want? Be honest. 
be honest. What do you want? And she's like, well, uh, I want to, you know what, Blue? I really don't know what I want. But I do know, oh, yes, we got a fool. But I do know, and he's like, well, I know what I want. But we could talk about that later. <laughs> She's like, no, no, come on, Blue, you you just, come on, you're just playing games with me. He's like, no, he's like, you are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And she's like, oh, but she's like, you know, getting back to what I want, honestly, I'm doing like interior decorating, but I think I want to kind of be like a veterinarian because I love animals. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's enjoying themselves. I mean, this is like the first time Blue has ever watched the sun come up because obviously, you know, Blue and the sun don't mix, but he's so caught up in a mirror and the date and just having a good time that he just, you know, it's like he's seeing things for the first time ever. And look at that smile. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. She leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever. Or is there some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. Alright guys, so it kind of seems like the date between Blue and Amira was a total success. It was so romantic. It was so sweet. And I really enjoyed this episode. And I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new and you like this episode and you want more, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button for me, okay? And... Hit the bell it will let you know whenever i upload any new content i want to give a special shout out once again to my friend sasha space for allowing me to have a mirror on this wonderful journey of blues generation this is just awesome you know and i can't wait to play more with a mirror and i can't wait to play with um the other sims that you guys uploaded to the gallery for me. This is going to be a great generation. And I am just so pumped every time I play. So thank you guys so much. That's Blue with Amira. And I'm Cinderella. And I'm signing out. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, 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 are you dreaming of, of me now?